Rumble is quite the fun ride, I gotta say. I I, I didn't know what to expect from it, to be honest, but I, I was I very much enjoyed my time. But what about it really drew you to the project? You know, uh, one thing that a lot of people don't know, uh, my first foray into entertainment was in a what what I would call a American Gladiators on steroids show called Battle Dome. Uh, I played this character named T Money, who they basically put me in a cage, lit the ends on fire, rotated the cage, and I wrestled contestants to throw them out of the cage and whoever stayed in won the game. And this was a show that was late night and I played, I was a larger than life character. It was a mix of wrestling meets MMA. And a lot of people got hurt. <laughs> I mean, the show only went two years, uh, but we were sending people to the hospital on the regular. And, and you got to understand, this was around 1999, 2000. And it was pre-MMA. People had never seen like blood on television until that show. Uh, and so it reminded me, the whole concept of these monsters fighting on behalf of their cities and the whole thing, because I represented the hood when I was T-Money and the whole thing. And then we had characters that were represented like uh, Malibu and then we had a soldier and then we had a gangster. It was all kind of like, you know, the, the basic big wrestling themes. Uh, and it just really struck me that, that this movie as a family movie, and it's just perfect because it's part of my past. It's who I am. You know, it's Terry Tentacular, you know what I mean? All the way. So then how much of Tentacular came from the script and how much of it came from just your own personality? Uh, I would say 90% my personality. <laughs> you know, first of all, you know, as a former athlete and in entertainment, there is a, a braggadocio you have to have. I mean, anybody who tells you they're in entertainment and they're humble, they're lying. <laughs> you know, you, there's a moment you have to believe that you are the best thing in the world. You know, I mean, it, I don't know what to say. It, it sounds real. You know, a lot of people want to downplay it and the whole thing. But when you're on, when, I remember being in the NFL, you risk your life every time you stepped out there. So you had to know that it was not going to be you today. It was going to be that other guy. Um, and so I kind of channeled back to that while I was playing Tentacular. You know, uh, some people would call him a villain, but I would say he's j literally just an athlete who's playing the game the way it's supposed to be played. You know what I mean? Uh, he, he doesn't look at it. He's like, this is business, man. It's not personal at all. Uh, but I got to give you a show and I got to make it big. Um, it also reminds me of the biggest, best superstar athletes ever. When you look at like a Deion Sanders or, you know, anybody who could ever start with a rhyme or braggadocio or anything like that, that, that sets off the, the, the whole thing. Even Ocho Cinco back in the day. Um, and I always wanted to be one of those athletes, but I wasn't good enough. <laughs> so when I get this chance, I said, man, this is, it's the interesting thing. It's one of those things where you dare people to stop you. And, uh, I, I, I always think it's part of my personality. It's always been there. You know what I mean? And now I just didn't have to hold back. <laughs> so with so much of it being a part of your personality, though, what would you say were some of the biggest creative challenges for you getting to the heart of the character? First of all, um, you know, my, my thing is cre creatively, um, I also know that these things go too far. You know what I mean? And you start to realize, you know, because you, you, this kind of attitude of all or nothing, um, you know, it's my way or the highway usually leave scorch earth and you win but you lose you know what i mean i i can really go back into times of i actually won an argument with my wife uh but did i win <laughs> you know what i mean like it would have been better to just shut up <laughs> you know um i made my point to the point where now you know it's silence in the house it's cold it's not right and everything is really really weird um, but when you're talking about a guy like this, you know, 
creatively, I, I knew that he had to even deal with the fact that people were collateral damage. You know what I mean? And the other athletes and all this stuff, it's always where things go too far. And this is where you see athletes have a lot of problems when the game is over. Like the things that served you very, very well while you were doing it do not work in the real world. You know what I'm saying? They just don't. Uh, there's got to be some humility. There has to be where, wait a minute, you know, it's, it actually isn't about winning all the time. And in fact, it's sometimes you have to you have to sacrifice so that others can 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 make it. You know what I'm saying? So these, but these things are not in his head. And these are some of the creative challenges I had to do with putting that out of my head while I was doing it and um and realizing that this character was going too far. You know what I mean? And he did need his comeuppance, you know? And so it's a, it's a lot of fun to play these themes because you hope that kids and families can really get the underlying message behind it without being preachy uh, and just letting it play out. You know what I mean? And um, that that was the challenge was, was trying not to be preachy, but also be, be honest about, you know, hey, you know, to me, Tentacular is not a bad guy. He just doesn't understand how things really work. Sure. Yeah. I think that's very, very insightful answer. I, I can't think of the word <laughs> I was actually looking for, but <laughs> um, so were you allotted the opportunity to sort of improv and play around with the character during recording sessions as well? Yes. Yes. Hamish, uh, the, the director, just let us go for it. Let us come up with our own voices. Uh, you know, it's funny because uh, uh, people think, you know, as big as I am, that I have a really deep voice, and I don't. <laughs> Once I get excited, it's like, ah! it gets higher and higher, you know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> and what's so cool about it is that he let me do that. I I've had people who tried to be like, no, we like it darker, we want it deeper, but it it's just not me. Um, I'm this, I'm a very, you know, uh, I don't know. I got, I got, I'm, I'm a little ADD. And so I get very, very excitable and very high pitched and, and how Amish let me do my thing. I mean, and it, to me, it was just more real. When I see the character and when I saw the movie, I thought it was perfect. I was just like that, you know, because you do tend to trust the creators a lot because there's so much you don't see. You know, you just do your voice and do your thing and you imagine. And then when you see it all together, it's like, oh, did it work or did it not? And it worked. I really love what they did. So speaking of seeing and, and imagining things, how, how much of the animation and artwork did you have available to you while you were recording? Well, in the beginning, I just had a drawing, you know, and that was all I had. But what I loved was the way they designed the character, the way his arms were tentacles, but could unify into one big, two big arms at any time. And I love that. I was like, that is really, really groundbreaking. You know, he could split them up and he could put them back together. And uh, I just thought that was a really well-designed creature. A lot of the creatures are really cool and, and well-designed. And this concept of these monsters fighting on behalf of the cities, I just thought was really great, man. It's kind of a it, it, it typifies what sports is, you know what I'm saying? Because when you look at the, you know, the LA Lakers versus the Boston Celtics, you're seeing monsters, you know what I mean? <laughs> you're imagining creatures beating each other. Um, and it really becomes where, you know, it's war uh, in a lot of ways. And I, and I like that. It, it's, it's, it really typifies what sports mean. Well, I think this movie is just an absolute blast. I think you're awesome in it as well as everybody else. And I can't wait to spread the word. Thank you, Terry, so much for taking the time to chat. I really appreciate it. Hey, thank you, Grant. You got it, man.